Bloating Explained – How Simple Physics Helps You Understand This Common Problem Bloating comes from gas trapped in your digestive system. This gas comes from many places, including the air you swallow, the carbonated beverages you drink, and the fermentation of undigested food by the microbes in your colon. But how does gas cause discomfort? To understand bloating, it helps to know a little bit of physics. Imagine what happens to bottled water when you fly in an airplane. At takeoff, the water bottle looks normal, but as the plane rises and air pressure drops, the bottle expands and becomes bloated. How does this happen? In physics, it helps to think of what it is you're observing as being in its own enclosed space. This is sometimes referred to as a closed system. This closed system can be a water bottle or the tube of the 30-foot long digestive system which starts at the esophagus and ends at the anus or the middle ear which is separated from the outside by the eardrum and the eustachian tube or it can be underwater in a pool or ocean or even the earth as a whole. No matter what system you're in, it helps to put yourself at the center of this system and imagine the forces around you. Back to our bottle. Most airplanes, except some like the Dreamliner, keep the cabin pressure to the same level you'd find at about 8,000 feet above sea level, which is impressive considering you may be at 40,000 plus feet. When you are at sea level, the entire atmosphere has molecules with weight. This column of air presses down on you. Air is invisible, and the weight of the molecules may not seem like much, but a tremendous amount of something very small adds up quick. Just think of a cloud made of water vapor, H2O. Most people would never guess that a small cumulus cloud has so many water molecules that it weighs as much as two elephants. If you're 8,000 feet up, there's a lot less air over your head and the pressure is less. With less molecules running into the outside of the bottle, the inside molecules have more relative force and push the bottle outwards. This is the same process that happens to the air in the digestive system. The other important factor that affects pressure is temperature or heat. Temperature is a measure of the energy of movement called kinetic energy. The more kinetic energy, the more pressure a gas exerts. Imagine a pressure cooker. Heat from a burner passes to water molecules. In turn, the water molecules move faster and with more force leading to pressure. When it comes to bloating in animals, temperature is not as big a factor as pressure, but your body temperature is often higher than the air you breathe or the carbonated beverages you drink. Plus, some foods cause more fermentation in your colon, which can lead to the maligned or revered warm fart. So while not as important, it still plays a role. Be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any videos.